Welcome to Morningstar. The Chinese authorities have been signaling support for the economy, which in turn has given investors comfort that the worst for tech names may be over. It would be wise to remember, however, the risk of a slowing economy and the uh, peaking of penetration rate in the e-commerce sector have not waned. Uh, Chelsea Tam, senior equity analyst at Morningstar, is here to discuss how this will impact the already cheap valuations of e-commerce names in China, like Alibaba. Hi, Chelsea. The correction in China tech has lasted for more than a year now. Have we reached the bottom? And are there still some exciting things that uh, we should like about this space? Well, yeah, um, the stocks uh, prices have been quite volatile. Um, I think uh, one of the reasons of the decline uh, is because of the lockdown uh, in Shanghai and many uh, disruptions uh, across supply chains and delivery uh, in the whole country. Um, but other than that, uh, we also see some signs of regulatory uh, ease. Um, so I think that uh, going forward, um, as uh, lockdown ease um, and the government roll out uh, stimulus uh, in monetary policies and also uh, fiscal policies, then we expect that the worst should be over. Right. But from here, uh, from here on out, um, since lockdown is uh, over, are there other signs that you see uh, would be a risk or a further downside that investors should be uh, alerted on? Well, I think there is a uh, possibility that there is um, some sort of um, uh, uh, lockdowns, uh, as we have seen, uh, we see that like Beijing, Shanghai, they have tightened like, lockdown measures. So these will be very important and really uh, drive, uh, I think, the short term uh, price uh, fluctuation for these companies. I think generally speaking um, is um, the macroeconomics um, related to like uh, lockdowns and also so like just the really weak consumer sentiments even before this wave, um, that would be like the uh, main downside risk, I, I would say. So from your research, uh, uh, so far, JD.com has been a, a top pick. Uh, can you tell us more about the stock? Yeah, so I think JD uh, is uh, benefiting uh, it's kind of benefiting a little bit relatively to some peers in terms of lockdown. Uh, not so much compared to 2020, but um, I think it's still uh, best in class in terms of logistics and delivery um, in the e-commerce space. So that's why I think for more resilient uh, um, uh, reasons. Uh, we prefer a JD in the more near term. Uh, if we look out for like maybe a, a year or so, I think that um, in the longer term, Alibaba uh, will see a strong um, earnings um, uh, uh, like growth. Uh, so that would be actually coming uh, from a uh, like decline in earnings previously. So that turnaround would be important to watch as well. Thank you so much, Chelsea. For Morningstar, I'm Caitlin.